Hello fly babies. Hello my patrons. Hello lions living in our new strength. Today is Wednesday and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and help you learn how to finally love yourself. I'm Fly Lady Cat and today we're going to do three things. Our three layer cake. The routines, our basic weekly plan, and our zone. So today we're going to start with routines Follow that with Wednesday's basic weekly plan, which is planning and desk day, and then our zone, which is zone to the kitchen. So let's start with routines. If you don't know what your routines are, please watch um, the video, How to Do the Fly Lady System for Newbies. It covers everything. It's on my homepage and linked below. Um, if you do know, that's excellent. We've been going through the morning routine all spring. So now we're going through the evening routine in summer. So I'm not gonna major on the morning routine. If you know what it is, you're going to get up in the morning and do your morning routine before the children. And then you're going to put the children through their morning routine. And then if you're going to work, you're off after a quick clutter check and a delegation of duties to anybody who's staying home. Then while you're at work today, well, I'd like you before you go to work, stop. Before you go to work, go look in your fridge. You might wanna shoot a picture of it with your phone, just a quick picture of your freezer, your fridge, and your pantry uh, that will enable you to see what you have in there so you can make some plans for groceries this week. All right, so um, you're going to, and possibly throw out all the old stuff in the fridge and vow not to keep that many leftovers in the future. Either freeze them as a meal prep or don't make so much. But if you didn't do that and no one ate it, then get rid of it and get those uh, Tupperware items either washed up or in the dishwasher. All right. When you get to work, you're going to, on your lunch hour or break, make a meal plan. So you're gonna look at your fridge, your stove, your fridge, yeah, that should be a blooper, but too bad. You're gonna look in your fridge, you're gonna look in your freezer, and you're going to look in your pantry, and you're going to make meals up from what you already have. And then what you don't have, if you don't have anything else, then you're gonna make meal plans for the rest of the week. So you're gonna need plans for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks, and all the things that go with that. Do you have baggies? Do you have uh, tin foil? Do you need the kind that doesn't have, that's non-stick? Do you need storage bags? You know, those things go in as well as toilet paper and paper towels, and uh, you know, you can get um, other cleaning things at, at the store, or you can use my Grove Collaborative link below and buy your things online and save some money on some great natural products that won't impact your health. Okay, so whatever you decide to do, that's what you do. You're gonna buy groceries. So you're making your list, your, your menu, and then you're making your grocery list up from that menu. What do you not have? And make your grocery list up. And then um, that's it for groceries. Next, we're gonna go on to balancing your checkbook. If you do this every week, it'll be a quick and easy thing to do. And then you've got, um, paying your bills, so you're gonna make sure everything came out based on your list, what's supposed to come out, and anything else that you have to mail that maybe you get in the mail, that you have it there with you in your purse to mail it out. If it didn't come in the mail, you still owe it. Call them and tell them you didn't get your bill and send it in manually. Okay, because there's no excuse. You, they don't care if you didn't get in the mail. That's not their problem. Their problem is that they're not receiving a payment from you, and that will be negatively impacting your credit. So don't do that to yourself. All right, so you've balanced your checkbook. You've made your grocery list. You've cleaned out your fridge a little bit this morning. Now I want you to look at your planner and put things in your planner. What meals have you planned for the week? Write them in there. Um, what days are you doing what this next week? If you haven't already done that, put that in there. You know, what do you do on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday in the Fly Lady system? What's your basic weekly plan item? Don't forget your routines and don't forget what zone you're in. Next week we're in zone three, the bathroom and one other room. This week we're in zone two. So you have things to put in your planner. Use this as a tool so you don't forget. Okay. Now we're going to um, relax and enjoy the rest of your day. And then when you get home, you're gonna do a quick clutter check, just like you did before you left. You're gonna inspect what you expect, like if you delegated that weekly plan item, you're gonna inspect that. You're gonna start your laundry, go through an inch of paper if you have it, start your dinner, and then while dinner is simmering, you're going to do zone two, the kitchen, which you happen to be standing in. And it's just one deep clean, clean item if you have decluttered. If you are newer and you still have clutter, then it's gonna be 15 minutes of decluttering, uh, 
with a follow-up of completing the process, which means throwing away the trash, putting away the things that need to be put away, and then keeping and, um, I mean, delegate, ugh. This is a bloopery video, and I apologize, but it's okay. The last thing is to take the things you're gonna give away and put them in the trunk. There, I said it. <laughs> All right, for those of you staying at home, you're also gonna get up in the morning and do your morning routine before the children, followed by their routine, followed by your um, laundry and an inch of paper if you have it, followed by your basic weekly plan of doing exactly the same thing that the payroll fly babies did, which is look in your fridge, give it a quick, quick clean out, um, you have a little more time than they do, so maybe you can take a warm cloth and wipe up the circles that may be in there, milk circles, jelly circles, those kinds of things, maybe little spills. And then um, make your menu based on what you have and your grocery list based on what you don't have. And then go to your desk, take care of your inbox. That's another thing. P uh, payroll fly babies, you have to also take care of your inbox. So before you leave, if you have, if you're still listening to this before you leave, Hope you grabbed the, th the things in your inbox so you can take care of them today if you have anything. All right, if you don't, you're gonna do that this evening or take them and do them tomorrow at work. I hope that you did them today though, because today's the day. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to pay our bills, balance our checkbook, look at our budget, those kinds of things. All right, so you've got your grocery list all made up and ready to go for tomorrow. Okay, now, the next thing we're going to do is after dinner routine. So after dinner's made, everyone is going to do the after dinner routine together with your children. And then once that's done, it's before bed routine. So remember the before bed routine for the children is clean up your stuff, go get your PJs, go pick out a book, go in the bathroom, put your dirty clothes in the laundry, take a bath, wash your hair if you need to, brush your teeth, wipe out the sink, hang up the hand towel, Put your bath towel on a hook so it can dry or on the bar. Put on your clothes, go get your book, and get in bed. Now, before all of that, Mom, you're going to do a clutter check, and you're going to inspect what you expect on that before bed routine. Then it's time for your before bed routine if you haven't done it before them because you're super tired, but if you're not super tired, after them. And that involves checking your planner, seeing what's up for tomorrow as far as meals go, as far as fly lady system goes, as far as personal appointments go, picking out your clothes based on your agenda, um, going in the kitchen, making sure all the last minute dishes have been cared for, the dishwasher is running if you have one, and the sink has been wiped out and clean towel has been laid out, old dirty towel goes in the laundry. Then go ahead and take your makeup off, moisturize your face, take care of your hair, either wash it or brush it out, take your bath or, or shower, put on your pajamas, take your clothes, if they're still clean, hang them up. If they're not clean, put them in the dirty clothes. If there is a spot, whether you're gonna wash them or hang them back up, make sure you take care of that right away. And then settle in your bed, relax with whatever form of enter entertainment it takes for you to relax and go to sleep, and then go to sleep at a decent hour so that you can get up rested and refreshed in the morning. That's it for today. I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday, and always remember that you are beautiful.